So these crucibles, it's a graphite crucible, the luminar or quartz insulating jacket. They call the three kilo crucible. I think that's three kilos of silver, which is a smaller volume than three kilos of iron. The iron is really hammering the graphite. That was three times as thick when I started. I've done quite a few pours with it, probably 15 or 20 pours now. But what I'm gonna try and do is make something a little bigger than that out the graphite in out of fire clay and maybe some grog to do that i want to build a mold to mold these with clay and to do that i'm going to cnc cut bits of plywood that stack up into half one of these and another set for the other half so i can squeeze them together put the clay in press down a plug or pull down a plug with bolted threads and really squeeze squeeze the clay uh, I've made various clay crucibles and not much success and you need to really pound that if you form her that you hammer and the idea of not using the graphite is that with iron you don't really need the graphite I tried it in this one empty just iron straight in that and it melted very well but you can see the crucibles suffered you know almost catastrophically so basically I want to make something like that a bit bigger out of stuff that I've got plenty of you know, this and the graphite 30 quid when these are brim full of iron I've managed to pour about two kilos I need it to be about a third bigger if I can make something that structurally puts up with being lifted it's always the uncomfortable bit with homemade crucibles when you're gripping the weight of a hot crucible full of molten iron quite near your gonads tilting crucible you see them a lot with induction furnaces but the flexible cable link here i have heard possibly reduces the effect which means taking longer and the whole point of getting this is to quickly melt iron it does one of those full of iron in about half an hour if i could increase the volume to get my three kilo pour in an hour that's still practically useful
It's not looking too bad so far. That, my liver, is alright. And somewhere else. So this is now a full 20 kilos of sand. And there we have a beautifully fine, dry, almost perfectly clean sand. And I started building this four years ago. Only today wired the capacitors back in. So it now starts on the button and doesn't stall when the load is too much. So I've never had it working, doing it, but able to do as much sand as this. Uh, so that is the part. Obviously it will need some machine attention, but if I can do another one of those tomorrow, and then I'll have two halves that I can clamp together, uh, dump a lump of clay in the middle, and have a, a hammer in plug and then I can put the clay in and pound it oh we've got a slight dip around the sprue though oh look at that maybe even use the aluminium to warm the clay dry it out a bit quicker 